Today I'm diving into a topic that's taken the geopolitical world by storm, the potential conflict between the US and the trio of China, Russia, and North Korea. So let's get straight to it. There's been a lot of buzz about an emerging axis of evil, a term that's been thrown around to describe the increasing cooperation between China, Russia, Iran, and North Korea. But is this threat as unified and formidable as it's made out to be? Well, some experts argue it's not that simple. These nations are indeed collaborating more than ever, primarily because they share a common opposition to U.S. policies. But their alliances are often more about convenience than any deep ideological alignment. Think about it. Each of these countries has its own unique set of goals, internal dynamics, and even vulnerabilities. They're not a monolithic block. And this is crucial to understand if we're going to formulate effective foreign policies. For instance, China and Russia might be buddies on the surface, but their ambitions don't always align. While China focuses on economic dominance, Russia is more about military strength. North Korea, on the other hand, is isolated and unpredictable, often playing by its own rules. So instead of viewing them as a united front, the U.S. could benefit from a more nuanced approach. This means engaging in tailored bilateral dialogues, finding common ground where possible, and using both incentives and sanctions. By recognizing each nation's distinct challenges and opportunities, the U.S. can avoid spreading itself too thin and pursue more effective diplomacy. Now let's talk about the elephant in the room, the idea of a new Cold War. The current geopolitical landscape does indeed draw some parallels. The U.S. is navigating simultaneous tensions with China, Russia, Iran, and North Korea. This situation demands a strategic approach that avoids pushing these nations closer together. Each of these countries is a different kind of challenge. They have varying levels of economic and military power, political ideologies, and global aspirations. Recognizing these differences is key to developing effective strategies. Strengthening alliances with other democratic nations is crucial. By fostering cooperation with like-minded partners, the U.S. can better address shared challenges and deter potential aggression. And yes, exploring avenues for diplomacy and engagement, even amidst tensions, can help prevent misunderstandings and manage potential escalations. So what does this all mean? It means it's time for the U.S. to adopt a more tailored and nuanced approach towards these nations. It's about understanding their complexities and crafting strategies that are as dynamic as the geopolitical landscape itself. All right, folks. That's it for today. If you found this insightful, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe for more deep dives into the world of geopolitics. See you next time.